The next person who actually did work together with Brahe uh, was Johannes Kepler. Um, he was born in 1571 and died in 1630. He was one of the best mathematicians in Europe at that time. And uh, Brahe collected, working for 20 years, he collected an enormous amount of data on planetary motions. Uh, and he realized that he was not good enough mathematician in spite of losing the tip of his nose over his uh, pride as a mathematician uh, much, much earlier when he was a young man. Uh, he realized that he needs somebody really good who would actually look at the data of planetary motions and try to see if there are any regularities in, 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 in these data. He had uh, his ideas about the structure of the universe. He actually believed that all planets except for the Earth, the Earth revolve around the Sun. But then the Sun with these other planets revolving around it also revolves around the Earth. Okay? So it was kind of in between geocentric and heliocentric model. That was what he was hoping to find out. So he hired Kepler, who was a well-known mathematician at that time, to help him out. And they had very, um, um, how shall I put it, uh, 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 interesting relationship. It was, uh, uh, often they had fights, uh, then Kepler would leave, then Brahe would beg him to return, uh, the problem, in part, was that Brahe was a no nobleman and Kepler was a commoner, right? So they had different backgrounds and didn't uh, hit it off right away, probably, but had uh, very strong personalities, another reason to have conflicts. At any rate, Kepler, he got to work with Brahe's data for eight years data, uh, uh, sorry, on planetary orbits. And he worked on them for eight years. Now Kepler, in spite of his uh, incredible ability as a mathematician and the fame that he achieved as a relatively young man, he was effectively on the run all of his life. And the reason is that he was a devout Protestant and that was a time in Central Europe where there was a uh, reformation and then counter-reformation which was often extremely violent where people of one religion would really um, uh, come hard on the people of uh, other uh, uh, religions. So uh, he was a victim of that and he, was, he and his family were basically constantly on the move in his life because of that. Both Brahe and Kepler actually worked as the um, uh, 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 court astrologers to the Holy Roman Emperor, uh, who's then the, the site of uh, uh, Holy Roman Empire was uh, in Prague, which is now a uh, Czech Republic at, at that time. So after working for eight years, um, he was able to formulate uh, three laws of planetary motions. And now they are known as Kepler's laws. Remember what Copernicus said is that the orbits have circular shape, perfect circles, uh, with sun sitting at the center of the circles. And uh, Kepler realized that that's not quite so. Uh, uh, that the first law basically states that uh, the planets move along elliptical trajectories with the sun at one of the two foci of the ellipse. 